All right, I'm gonna to try to do a quick video, a relatively quick video to help you understand the new auto rental features on Peak Monsters for the Splinterlands game. We have now a bid thing inside of the rent page right here. There's rent. So here you have all your rent and you have the price and the level and the collection power and the ROA and the CP per DEC stat. So it's all there. But now you have a bid button, and when you click it, you'll be able to bid. Now, if we refresh, I want to show you something. I actually just uh, I did something a moment ago. So now when I hit bid, this is what you're going to experience when you first log in. You have to give us rental authority. Give these accounts rental authority. So you hit confirm. All right, done, and uh, wait like three seconds or so, and then refresh the page. So now you are now working on the page with rental authority. So now when you click bid, you can start bidding on a card. So at level one, here are all the bids. So here's the highest bid is 0.111. So if you want to bid a little bit higher, you would put 0.112. Now, this does not mean that the owner is guaranteed. <laughs> like, you still have to wait for the owner to be willing to rent you that card. But it looks like there are cards available. So, um, seems doable. And uh, let's put point two on that. So, actually, what about if I wanted a level three of this card? Oh, no bids yet. How about a level four? I want a level four. So let's do a two DEC bid. I'd be the first one. All right. And now you see the level four two DEC bid. So I have just moved into, uh, into the silver league. So now I want to use cards at higher levels, perhaps. So... And you can go in and say, okay, well, now I'm in Gold League. So now I want to go up to level six. And then you'll see that someone has bid a very low amount. Of course, it's only been a very short period of time that this has existed. So the bids haven't really filled in a lot. So jump in. You'll be able to get a few um, interesting deals. So let's just look at legendaries, for example. So here's a uh, legendary Lord of Darkness. You can also... Uh, click here and see some really decent or like what they're what the owners are listing it for and then you go in here and you see what the what the renters are willing to rent it for so there you go so this is a match made in heaven hopefully and it's gonna hopefully fulfill that one for them so it's already gone out of the list here See, there's no 475 available, so it has already been rented out. Um, probably, well, we'll see. Um, what is the highest bid on the gin? It's 1.6, so um, that doesn't match. So there's a, a spread in between the two from 1.6 to 5.7. Someone's got a bend. Is it going to be renters more willing, or is it going to be the owners Look at, there's 282 cards. Um, if we checked just level ones, we'll be able to see just how many level ones there are, where there's a ton of these cards not being rented. Maybe these owners say, fine, I'll rent it to you at whatever you're bidding. So, all right. So that is the per card rental system. You go in, you uh, put in a number, let's say five, also, this little statistic is very important. Basically, each card has a collection power. In this case, I happen to know that it's 1,500. So when you put in and you say that you want to rent this card for five DEC a day, you are also saying that you would be willing to pay 300, um, that you want 300 collection power per DEC. You see how that works? 1,500 divided by 5 is 300, or 5 
um, or 1500 divided by five is 300. So there you go. Um, this number is important because people are looking for collection power a lot of the times, not just specific cards. So they're looking for collection power and they don't care how they're getting it some of the time. Uh, this, if I were to get this card at, you see the other bid is gone now. We looked earlier and there was a, I believe there was one that was higher, right? It hasn't processed and shown up here yet. Um, I think that's correct. So in any case, um, or maybe it went to a, uh, collection power renter because these aren't super high. So seven, keep this number in mind means if, if this person gets it at for seven, uh, they'll have 214 collection power per DEC. Okay. Keep that in mind because now we're going to go to the collection power bidding method. And the bid that you do is a CP per DEC or collection power. How many collection power will you get per DEC? So um, it, oh, you could say, I want to get 300 collection power for each DEC that I spend. So, um, or 214, like you would have gotten with the Lord of Darkness. So, but that's not going to end up happening because the collection power bids are so high and you can, we, you can see five of them so far. We're going to show you a lot more in the future. So in this case, this person is still willing to, is willing to rent 9,800. Well, originally it was 40,000. We've hooked them up with 30,000 collection power but they're looking for 10,000 more collection power and, and they are willing to spend or they're, they're only looking for a hundred collection power for each DEC they spend. So, and you could literally uh, divide this by a hundred. So 9855 divided by a hundred is something like 98 DEC is what they're willing to spend for the rest of the, of what is remaining. For everything, it was around 400 DEC per day. So these are very high rates. Um, what we're hoping and expecting is that uh, owners will uh, start listing their cards again uh, for a good rate. Uh, and they'll see these bids and they'll see, uh, oh, someone is willing to rent a Bila the Radiant for 2.1 DEC. And I can show you here, 2.1 DEC means very good collection power rate. So at the moment, it may not be willing, but look at this. Again, I want to show you this. There's 163 Bila the Radiance that haven't even been placed. Now, the rates are, you know, 82, 77 here. Um, but if you look at some of the gold cards for all this stuff, it goes up a bit higher, 125, 250. Um, but that one card is, is a 50,000 collection power. So if you are trying to rent collection power uh, and you need quite a bit of it, don't bid a really low number. You have to look and see because you could get one card um, and a much better rate at 250 collection power for each DEC spent. All right. So, um, yeah, I, I think that we've given you a decent amount of information. Uh, I just clicked back in here and now that one card is all gone. It has actually been fulfilled. It will show up here in a little bit. Uh, we got them their 10,000 extra CP and now someone else has the highest bid and they're looking for 15,000. So, Hopefully we can find them maybe even one card and get them a rate that's way better than the 100. Um, that would be really good, actually. So uh, it's it's harder to find cards maybe around the 1,000 mark, but um, and it's hard to beat these guys up here. So uh, Also, this is how much collection power 
you want to bid, and we can't get it directly on, like right on the dot. It's almost impossible. So you need a spread between the two so that we can kind of get into that range. So in this case, we got them immediately directly to 10,000. But in this case, we're like, we couldn't get them directly to 5,000, but their range was up to 6,000. So we got them right to, you know, 5,070. And they, they were only went over by 10. We got them exactly onto 1,000. And they went over a little bit, probably because we found one exact card to get them into that range. And boom, maybe it was a couple cards. So, And then we're helping you ignore all of those tiny, tiny little cards. By saying that the minimum you want is a 60 or is a 50 collection power card. All right. And then you can go over here to profile and um, you'll go to rentals and you'll see here's all your rentals, um, all the ones that you want. And, and here's three that are filled. Now, if you want, you say you go out of town for several days, you can pause them. And when you come back, they'll all still be there and you can unpause it. Or if you're just like, nope, 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 let's start all over again. Let's just delete them all. There's a delete all or individual. So there's a bunch of things to recognize about rentals. One last thing is, again, if you're doing a collection power bid, just go through and, and figure out what is a good bid to do. Because maybe if you're doing gold bids, these 3,000 collection power cards, will you'll be able to do them, whereas these people that are only renting 1,000 with a maximum of 1,200, they would never be able to get that card because 3,000 is greater than the 1,200 that they're desiring. So, and this person, don't do, don't do this. This is dangerous. We're going to help you to not have it be dangerous like that. Um, but don't put 10. That's it. This bid is going to get fulfilled very quickly. Hopefully, hopefully with a good priced card, because we don't try to get them at that bad of a rate. We, we just take the first card that is listed. I, I wish I knew who this was and we'd see what card they ended up getting. So just saying, be careful with your bids. Um, and one final thing I think is that when you make bids, you are paying the hive resource credit to make the bids or to edit the bids. If you want to edit the bid, it takes a little bit of resource credits, but renting the cards and extending them, it is auto rentals. So renting the cards and extending them is free of cost for you. We are paying all the resource credits. So I think I covered everything about rentals. And if not, please leave a question.